Why did the gold wing go? The gold wing went because of. <laughs> it flew out of my hand. Touring step up for a soft tail. This is gonna give me comfort for hours and hours on my ride with John. Cross country and the. Hey, hello again. How you guys doing? I haven't been uh, online for a very long time. Well, not in the format and the way you know, with, uh, with Holy Shift. I was online, but I was doing something else. Finally, time to post some things on Holy Shift. What do I mean? Let me show you what's going on in my garage. There's a big, big change in my garage. Now, it's not the floor mats like the car floor mats that a new car that I bought my my daughter that's getting her license tomorrow but if you look and see in my garage what do you see no more Goldwing and no more Royal Enfield classic that I had over here instead we got the beautiful Aprilia RS660 why did the Goldwing go the Goldwing went because I was not doing enough with it the Goldwing did not fit my channel most of the people that watch me watch Harley content. They love the Harley, the Harley scene, the Harley culture, the Harley community. Obviously, there are other people that are watching my channel that are not Harley people, but the vast majority are Harley people, and they wanted to see mainly Harley. I had three bikes. I did not have enough time to ride all three bikes. And since my major the majority of my following, uh, my people, you guys, are mainly Harley people, a lot of you did not want to see uh, other bikes. And I just didn't have enough time to ride the Goldwing, which I loved. I think it's a great bike. Old, but so, so nice. But I just didn't have time for it, so I had to let it go. I sold it. I took a small hit on it, but not not significant. I enjoyed the time I had it. Maybe in the future I'll, pr uh, no, not maybe. I know in the future I'll have a, a gold wing as well. For the same reason, I got rid of the Royal Enfield, which I just didn't get enough time to ride it. My daughter, she would come once, once a year, twice a year, three times a year from Israel and ride, but there was not a reason to keep the bike. So I sold those two bikes to get more space in my, in my garage. And instead I got my first sport bike. Five, six years ago, I had a Duke, a Duke 790, which was, it's a naked bike, not really sport bike. I didn't do much with it. I rode for a half year, a year on it, but I never really got into the sport bike culture, riding and tra I never tracked the bike and stuff like that. I decided that I wanna learn something that I'm not too familiar with, you know, develop my skills, learn something new. Hence, I decided to jump into the sport bike scene and I got midsize, like the top of the line midsize bike, sport bike that you can get, the, the Aprilia RS660 that I'm gonna be working on, but it's not gonna be on this channel. So if you're interested in sport bike content, go over, I'll put a link down below, it's called gasoline 660 like gasoline but with a z gasoline 660 search it up look for it but come only if you're interested about uh you know sport bike uh, content don't come to support i don't i'm trying to keep that uh channel to grow organically people that are interested in sport bike biking should come and watch because that's what i'm going to be talking about over there so if you want to and you're interested and you're not upset about sport bike uh bike riding and sport bike you know, content, then come and enjoy. And that's what I was doing lately. I was, I was riding this with my buddy, my brother, Johnny Boy, on his bike. And we were posting content on Gasoline 660 and his channel. So that's why I wasn't doing much on Grey Ghost over here. <laughs> Today, what I'm gonna to try to do on Grey Ghost. Remember when I installed the tour packs over here? I did the, the uh, sorry, tour packs, the saddle bag, the touring, touring bag conversion on Grey Ghost. I was having trouble 
uh, fitting the proper bushings over here so I can accept my tour pack over here, my uh, Advent Black tour pack over here. I actually spoke to Advent Black. They did the same setup and they told me what I needed to do. They actually supplied the proper bushings, but I actually used them for hanging these over here. So I literally need to take the, the bushings that are right there behind and use the, those bushings over here. So that's what I'm going to try to achieve to do now. I'll take the bike out and get some wrenching uh, going on. Finally, I have so much space over here. Before with the three bikes, couldn't move, couldn't do much. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Finally, the sun is out. It was raining all day. Oh man. And also tomorrow having a great install. Really, not life changing, but bike changing. Bike changing install tomorrow. Stay tuned for that. But so, okay, let's take the bags off. There you go on. What I have in, in mind, tomorrow we're having an install uh, somewhere. We're going some someplace to install something really cool. And uh, Johnny and I are going. Oh my God, come on. But that's tomorrow. By the time you see this video. Oops, sorry. By the time you see this video, uh, it's been installed already. It's, uh, has to do with suspension. Now let's do, let's do the other side. Get that bolt right here. Those bolts. Oh, there it is. Where did that jacket go? This is a, one of my first jackets that I got from Beyond Riders. Uh, a lot of my Harley, Harley, Harley friends think it's, uh, this color's controversial because it's kind of European style. The color, you know what I mean? It's kind of jazzy. Anyway, I think it's pretty cool. But my friends ha think I have bad taste. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. Whatever. With them, it's either you wear black or white, or if you really, really uh, want to go wild, you go gray. And if you're extremely wild, you go checkered, white and black. Oh my God, that's really wild. Checkered, can you believe that? Anyway, this is not black or white or gray, so it's like extremely, I don't want to say, but you know what I'm thinking, right? If I say it, then the, the PC police is going to be all over me. Anyway, okay, the second one is off. I'm going to put it right here, and then we can get organized. There you go. Both are here now. What? Advan Black told me is that uh, bushings they provide actually fit and it works. Now, by the way, how do I know my good old friend from Advan Black? This, by the way, video is not sponsored by them. This is sponsored by nobody. It's sponsored by you guys. The fact that you're watching, that's where I get my, you know, YouTube sends me some money every month because you guys watch my videos. Anyway. Alan from Advan Black. He has exactly this bike. And he's the one that actually installed the Bassani. Beautiful Bassani. Super bike. And he was able to install it properly. So he told me, yeah, the, the provided bushings that come with the, with the tour packs, with, the, with this, uh, the mounting brackets for the soft tail, they actually fit that and the tour pack. So I'm gonna try it. These are the ones that actually fit. Okay, now I'm gonna futz around with it and try to figure it out and I'll, once it's installed where I'm close to being, it's close to being installed, I'll show you. Give me a second. Okay, very, I got a lot, a lot of different bushings and from all sorts and types. I got a picture from Advan Black, what it's supposed to look like. I don't have those bolts or they're lost somewhere, but I rigged my own. I think I got it. This is gonna be the front, back, this, take a look at what it looks like. 
Obviously, when you get it from Adam Black, you get the proper bolts. But now, I think I got it. I'm going to test try it. I'm going to bring a tour pack, uh, like the mounting rack. Let me put this right over here on the gar <laughs> on the recycling bin. This is the tour pack. The tour pack rack it was so difficult to get hold of these when the when the low rider just came out. Oh yeah, yeah, I think we got it. Oh yeah. Man, it's locked on the other side. Oh perfecto. And we gotta fit. We gotta fit. So now. Now we gotta fit. I'm gonna put the, bring the tour pack on. I'll, first of all, I'll bolt it properly with blue Loctite. I'll put the tour pack on and the bags and I'll show you what it looks like. You see, blue Loctite. Oh my God, you guys, you don't give me a break with the blue Loctite, right? Now people ask me, why is the blue Loctite in a red, in a red uh, little tube? You gotta ask Loctite, I don't know why which is actually a good question. What, uh, what color of a tube is the red Loctite? I don't know. And just so you know, there's a nice clearance over here from the pipe. I'll show you very soon. The old blue Loctite from the red tube. I'll take that off. Okay. There you go. There you go. And I'll do the same thing to the other side. 24, 36, 38, 40, 49 meters. 45, 46, 49 newton meters. I'm good. Let's do it to the other side. Blue, blue, ooh. Oh yeah. Okay, come on. Come on, baby. Go easy. Come on, go easy on me. There you go. You gotta talk nicely to it, that's all. It's it just wants the attention, that's all. And every bolt needs let me do the other side and then I'll do my final torquing in because I need it to be fully aligned to get the, the right proper torque blue loctite there you go a lot yeah a lot fucking drowned it <laughs> it flew out of my hand yeah here we go 32 39 42 4 49 49 newton meters of torque obviously guys i'm kidding right no, I don't know the torque here. Not really significant because the back, the plate on the back is really big and strong. And I don't think even it's even aluminum. I'm not too concerned about it. Yes, I got it in securely, nicely and secure. It ain't going nowhere. It's not even rattling. And I've got nice clearance over here. Let's put the bags on and then the tour pack. I was about to put this back on, and I forgot that some of you are skeptical. Look at the clearance, okay? How close is it? Pretty close, but it's still not touching. And the bottom, after riding, uh, I didn't go fast far, but you see it's cleared. Yeah, I, I might, like uh, I said in the, in the past, and some of you suggested might put some kind of uh, like isolation or insulation insulation material on the bottom this is obviously very close to the bag but we'll see do that very soon let's get this first on oh man this is going to turn out really nice i'm serious you know what i'm doing right like literally putting these these knobs right here the snobs knobs right here these okay that's in that's in let me go get the tour. Let me go get the tour pack. That's recycle. I always get these comments like, "What's all the garbage around in your?" Anyway, I'm just kidding. I don't know what even I'm saying. Oh my God! It was raining the last two, three days. 
I don't know what's gone with weather. It's patterns. Now the big moment, a tour pack, Advent back tour pack. Let's try it out ever since. I haven't had it on the, on the bike for a while now. Let me put the camera here. I'm putting music in the background. Do, 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 do. Drum roll. Oh, I know what it is. Oh shit, I know what happened. I never changed. I never changed. Oh my God, I know what happened. I never changed the rack. This is the solo. This is the solo seat rack. Oh, I need to change this rack. I have this bottom rack. This rack right here is when I had, when I had the solo seat and it fit all the way up to here. I need to put the other rack back on. It's gonna take me a while. I'll see you soon. So if, for those of you that did not understand what was going on, currently on the tour pack, I have this rack. This rack is made for a solo seat. So the tour pack sits closer to me. This, the two up tour pack bracket. And as, as you can see, they, the tour pack sits, sits further back. Now, because I have the two up seat and not a solo seat, the bracket actually touches over here. So I have to change it to a, to the standard two up tour pack bracket. Okay. I changed the tour pack rack to the two up rack when easily. And now this is the moment. This is the final, the moment I've been waiting for. Click and, and click. Ah, <laughs> okay, okay, oh, they okay, now let me go quickly clean up, you know, I'll buff up the bike slightly and do, do a walk around. You see, cause it's all schmutzy and dirty. Look, see, let me, let me clean it first. Okay, guys, I got it ready. I got it set and I came, it came out. Wow, literally, wow, take a look bike is ready for miles for ripping thousands of miles in comfort advent black advent black gonna do well, let me tell you what I have on the bike now ready here we go the saddleman touring step up for a soft tail this is gonna give me comfort for hours and hours on my ride with John cross country and the advent black bags touring bags conversion with a tour pack i'm totally not worried and yeah i have to tell, i have to tell you this is not sponsored but i did get saddleman seat from them for free that's after i originally bought the first one and i love them initially they did not want to give me one because i was little and i was kind of rude as well but they liked me they finally like me. They like what I do. They, I think they fell in love with my good looks, my wisdom, and everything. I'm kidding, obviously, guys. I know I can kid with you. You know I'm joking. Because you guys are smart people, the people that watch me. Only the smart people watch me. Those that don't watch me, it's because they're smart and didn't find me yet. So anyway, oh my God. Advent Black, same thing. I originally bought their stuff, and then they decided to work for me. So I got this stuff from them. And did you ever hear, did you hear with the, with the whole big scene now with Insta360? So that's why all the YouTube uh, content creators are now very careful and they disclose, you know, who sponsors them, what they got for free, what they paid for. So yeah, I'm just yapping my mouth. Anyway, look at this. Look at this. I think it came out really cool, really nice. Beautiful setup. Everything, by the way, I have on this bike, I have a link down below by the description. You can just look and go to 
where I got it and decide if you want to buy the same. I think it came out really cool. And that's the update guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. I got to now uh, put these new bushings back in place so I can hang, you know, my old bags right here. I'll do that while you guys are going, uh, you know, switching to the next video. I'm Sandy watching Holy Shift guys. Till the next video, peace out. Yeah, Get back on. Yeah. Perfecto. This is a great option. This is a great uh, setup. I actually like, you, you can find these little uh, washer, uh, not washers, these little bushing on Amazon or, or even Advan Black. And then you just use it to to mount your bags on the wall in case in, ca in cases when you're not riding with the bags, right? There you go. Come on, baby. There you go. Nowhere. There you go. Now, ta-da! Ha! Huh? How about that? Guys, again, bye-bye.